Hi everyone! Thanks for watching our talks. We will introduce our action posting for object-oriented visual navigation. Here, we are first to introduce our motivation. As we know, in the visual navigation, the agent always takes actions based on the current view. However, this may lead to a problem, like. When the obstacle is coming up, or when the agent is about to get stuck or deviate into the wrong direction, it may be too late to take emergent actions at that time. So we hope the agent could foresee the potential failure and make the plan in advance. That's why we propose the action boosting. Then it comes to our framework. Our work is based on the Allen Actor baseline. Firstly, the input. Takes RGB and depth images, and the retina backbone encodes them to get the RGB and depth review features, respectively. Concatenated together, these features are put into a GRU to generate the hidden state. Then the navigation policy predicts action and value. That's the baseline. Then comes our idea. We expect the agent could foresee the coming situation. Therefore. For each time step, the agent should keep a memory for previous steps and then predict the most suitable action. Here, at time t, we record key previous states and related actions, and each previous action has a weighted and cascaded effect on the current decision. That's what we call action boost. During the experiment, we first add the detection module on the baseline. The detection embedding is based on the object relation graph with a GSA encoding. However, we find it of little help in the navigation performance. Then we propose our action booster methods. We respectively train the module with the fixed action weight W or the decaying weight, as shown in the table. The results indicate that our action boost certainly works. In particular, with the decaying action weight. Actually, the navigation can get the most improvement in all evaluation metrics. Here are our case studies. In the following successful cases, our agent are able to quickly recognize and escape from troubles, like getting stuck in the corner or nearly hitting the wall. Our agent can also avoid the obstacle and take actions in advance. Like turn left when it has a distance towards the wall, rather than getting near the wall. Meanwhile, it can quickly extrude the impossible areas and change directions. In this field case, the agent is not well trained with looking ahead or looking down. Therefore, the agent can't observe the target television, which is on the higher place. That's all our presentation and thank you.